It is time to get the show on the road for round number two. It is time to wind them up and let them go. It's a fairly just look at Alex Rhodes. What a start for the second row as we're going three wide. There goes Colin Dunn sliding in behind Kev Straw and through the first turn. And it's Alex Rhodes up into the lead. Goodness me, that was a belting start from the BMW. Rhodes leads Holmes, leads Benson. Is, uh, ooh, that's very, very deep for Mark Holmes. Here comes uh, Benson, Carl Benson, to try and take that second spot. He won't quite do it. Kev Straw. Oh my goodness, that is Andrew Gillow dives on the inside of Palmer, but gets the move done. He's up into fourth. Up into second goes Carl Benson. Alex Rhodes hasn't managed to get far away. As a uh, nice move there from Benson. Up into second. Holmes down to third. There is Gillone. Already giving himself some distance. There's Jameson. Of course he's had a cracking start from 10th to 5th. Oh, Kev Straw touching the dust. But Jameson giving the racing room. Kev Straw can go back at him. That's David Garside that's flown off the road. But does Jameson hold on to that spot? Yes, he does. Nicely done. Kev Straw in 6th place if the camera would move. Side by side with Toby Owen. Coming onto the Bentley straight. Owen just ahead of the Mercedes. Here comes John Nobbs. He's on a decent start as well. He's up into eighth as the runner with the Merck touch. Oh, what a move from Nobbs. Can he get the pair of them before they get down to Brundle? Yes, he can. Can he slow it down? Great move from John Nobbs. He's now on the back of his teammate. Oh, big hit there. Goodness me, that's that was Straw being clouted. No, it wasn't Van Heden. No, it was Mark Webb. Oh, wow, that was a big hit there. Oh, Carl Benson's in the lead. Apology, Carl. I didn't see it happen. Rhodes bounces off that apex. Here comes Gillone as well. He wants that third. Well, he's in that third spot. He wants second. Right behind them, Jameson has just got past Mark Holmes for fourth place. This is hotting up. The uh, usual shuffling, the usual names getting into the usual spots as we come through Riches for the second time in anger. Gary Cooper all the way down to the back with a penalty as well. Ooh, that was John Nobbs sizing up a move going into Montreal. Can he get it done side by side with Holmes? Nose is ahead but hasn't quite got the move done. The Astra side by side with the BMW and Gary Cooper into the pit. Oh, ouch. That's a lot of damage to the Red Renault. Benson leads Rhodes, who's caught Al uh, Andrew Gello right on top of him. Tries to get the move done through Agostini, he can't quite get through. Jameson chasing down, so it's a BMW three-way fest going on there, second, third and fourth. Actually fifth as well, because Nobbs is up into that fifth spot. Oh, look at Gello! Andrew Gillone on the inside of Alex Rhodes for second position. The camera's looking the wrong way. And he's got the move done by the time they get through Williams. But look at Jameson. Right now with Alex Rhodes and Andrew Gillone. Great battle for second position. Lots of fighting going on everywhere. Here comes Jameson. I wonder whether Rhodes just backed out of that because suddenly Jameson flew through and is now right on the tail of, An of Andrew Gillone. A lot of A's going on in that particular part of the course. So Benson enjoying a two and a half second lead at the moment up front in the Renault. Lots of jostling going on elsewhere, but I'm currently looking at Jameson getting very sideways through Corum. This is going to be an interesting run down towards Riches. Garside's got a penalty on the board. Three drivers have Cooper, Jack Dan, and now the fastest lap beginning to come in. A 53-2 for Jameson. 53-2, my goodness me, that was faster than he was last time. Oh, he's gone for a move on the inside of Montreal, but no. Doesn't commit to it. Behind him, Rhodes, Nobbs, and Owen. Battle of attempts going on between Nick Bailey. Well, there's battles everywhere going on, but again, concentrating at the moment on the battle of a second. Because I know as soon as I look away, Jameson is ready to make a move on Andrew Gillow. Absolutely amazing stuff. Gillow really having to defend very, very hard. What a, It was a cracking start from Andrew last time around. That uh, really helped secure the win. 
as uh, James just completely bogged down. And by the time he got through the, the traffic, uh, Andrew Gillan had gotten enough of a lead. Look how sideways Andrew Gillan was through that Williams turn. That is likely to give the momentum to James, and he's going to dive on the inside of Brundle. He's sizing up the move. He's got the overspeed to do it. Oh, Gillan's not going to make it easy for him. Stays on the line and gets the inside line for PK. I did it again. It's Nelson. <laughs> Apologies there. Great move from uh, Gillan. Kept his head and kept his position. Oh, the tail getting very, very lively on the BMW. Now sweeping through. There's lots of movement going on. I'm going to have to risk looking. Well, I don't have to risk looking away, but I want to have a look at the battles going on further down. There's a great big pack. Look at here. Look at this. Absolutely. This is a battle for ninth. That is currently led by Miles Dixon, who's got... Uh, Nick Bailey right on his... Oh, that's a bad uh, turn of Murray's for Bailey. He's going to have David Garside having a go at him. Chris Callahan, Kev Straw, Jay Daniels and Adam Davies all in this pack. And uh, Nick Bailey, what's he going to be able to do on the inside of Riches? No, Garside's got the momentum on him. Nice move, David Garside. Oh, there was a bit of banging. Jay Daniels is off the road. Can he get it? Oh, how did he get that back under control? Oh, and that's uh, who was that? Chris Callahan taking out a breaking board. It's still going. And now he's got Jack Dan on his tail. So good to see Jack Dan uh, uh, up and running. And also, Brendan Van Heden is still with us. Hopefully, his technical problems don't persist. Alex Rhodes is having an argument with Toby Owen now for fifth position. John Nobbs has gotten ahead of them. Oh, that's a big old slide from Rhodes. And an even bigger slide from commentator curse for Brendan Van Heden. But he does manage to keep the car under control. Nicely done. Let's check in with uh, everybody up front. Carl Benson leads by three seconds from Andrew Gillo. Oh, he's got himself a about eight tenths lead over Alex Jameson. Well, well, well. That's a rare thing indeed. John Nobbs four, so three out of the top four are beamers. And then you've got this three-way battle for fifth. Toby Owen leads Alex Rhodes, leads Brenda Van Heden. Brenda, really good look at the pile of pressure on. We really didn't see much of uh, Brendan last time around. He just stationary on the line. Ooh, trying to squeeze past the BMW. He's, oh no, the beam, beam is off. I'm not sure. Couldn't really tell from that angle whether there was impact there. I suspect there was because Brendan has allowed Alex back into position. Very uh, sporting of Brendan Van Heden there. Look at the battle for a second rages on. As Carl Benson is continuing to stretch his legs up front, but Jameson cannot find a way past Andrew Gillone at the moment. Seven minutes or just under remaining of this race. I love how Andrew just kicks the tail of the BMW out. I'm a big fan of the BMW, but I cannot make it dance like that. Well, I can, but not very successfully. Ooh! Jameson gives uh, Gellon a little bit of a nudge there, but uh, nothing too disastrous. They were at a very slow speed at the time. The second with this battle here. Oh, that's Garside having a go at uh, Kev Straw for. Uh, no, is it Kev Straw? It was for 11th position. It's gone a bit deep. No, he's much. Big ones, Mark Holmes. I, I thought that was Kev Straw's car. Beg your pardon. Kev Straw is behind them. Oh, Mark Holmes! Big slide! That's what Gary Cooper did last time around. But he's managed to keep it out of the wall and kept the Astra going. There is Kev Straw with Jack down for company. Jack with a lovely outside manoeuvre coming through Palmer. And the Merck's going to have the inside line for Williams. Who's going to win out on that? There is Adam Davies right behind them. Kev Straw keeps the momentum going. Oh, <laughs> nearly side by side again. Jameson and Gillon for second place. I think uh, Carl Benson has lost a little bit of time. Nothing too catastrophic. Oh, wrong camera. We've got the, as we've got the bumper cam, you'll really see how close they are. Oh, Jameson thinking about uh, going side by side, coming through the first turn. He's got the. He's committed. Who's going to have the momentum? Gillow's managed to defend it again. What a defense!
great defensive drive from Andrew Gillo. Brilliant stuff. Jameson is doing everything right to try and get past, but Gillo is doing everything right to prevent the move. Absolutely brilliant. Miles Dixon getting onto the back of Alex Rhodes for seventh place. Who's chasing Van Heden? Oh, McRae Williams, the birthday boy himself, into the pits. He's had an argument with something. The car doesn't look damaged, but uh, I'm assuming it is. Otherwise, well, why would he be in there? Jameson again. Oh, he's twitchy. But does manage to keep the BMW under control. He's trying to get the inside line for Williams. This could be the defining moment for second. Can he get it done? He's had to get out of the throttle a little bit, not to slam into the side of Andrew Gillow. Side by side now. Andrew's going to have the inside line in the 99 car. The three M Sport BMW of Alice Jameson is continuing to move. McRae Williams has retired his car. And can Gillow re return the favour? Yes, he can. But can he defend it through Nelson? Yes, he does. Unbelievable. Andrew Gillow has twice six well as many more times just twice we've seen whoa jameson tries to dive on the inside of gillo and that could have been nasty but both drivers brilliantly defending the position but gillo's gone deep gillo's gone deep and murray's but oh goodness me jameson was too tight did not have the momentum to capitalize there's john knobs behind them he is three seconds behind so he could if these two tangle get involved in this battle for second place Jameson again, sizing up a manoeuvre, going into uh, Riches, but doesn't go for it. Oh, Gillard's gone a bit too deep. Can he get that one back on the road? Jameson's dived on the inside for Montreal. He's gone too deep, and Gillard's going to come back underneath him. Absolutely brilliant racing from these two BMWs. There's a whole field of 23 cars, and I'm concentrating on two of them. I absolutely promise you this isn't favouritism. <laughs> I'm well aware that uh, I introduced... <laughs> That uh, Andrew Gillow, I kind of pointed him in this direction. He's a friend of mine, but even still, I think he looks great. This is incredible racing as Jameson dives on the inside of Agostini. He has finally wrested that second position from Andrew Gillow. And he went deep to try and uh, cut the momentum off from Gillow to try and cut back underneath him, which he successfully done. My goodness me. And now we will see Jameson run off. But there's only two and a half minutes to go. And Carl Benson, who we haven't really looked at too much since he's gained the lead, is, uh, well, unless he fires off the road, he's got 3.7 seconds and only really two laps to hang on to it. Oh, wow, what an incredibly intense battle for second position that was. Let's jump a little bit further down the field. Here's Dixon on the back of Rhodes. Oh, Miles Dixon didn't have such a good turn through Williams. And you can see just about ahead of them is Brendan Van Heden. He's on for a decent finish here. As long as technical problems or driving mistake does not befall him. A little bit laggy, I think. Coming through that time, but he's on for a good finish. Oh, Dixon had a look on the inside of Alex Rhodes. They're coming down to the crater, but did not commit to the move. Behind them, Jay Daniels and Nick Bailey arguing over ninth. There's a three-way fight here with uh, Matt Webb, Ollie Sy and Colin Dunn. Great driving there. Right behind them is Adam Davies and Chris Callahan having a fight for 17th position. And there you go. Look at the distance that uh, already Jameson has built over Alex Yellow. Two seconds in just a single lap. 53-6. Once again, Jameson assessing his authority. But I don't think even he is going to be able to close that gap down enough to overhaul what will be, I believe, the first win for Carl Benson. Going back to... So this this group shuffled around. Oh, that's Miles Dixon slowing down. And there's definitely been something going on there because Daniels now leads Bailey, leads Dixon, leads um, Rhodes. So that whole... That pretty much our whole pack has turned around. Here's a great fight, though, as we ride on board with Colin Dunn. He's chasing Ollie Sy, who's chasing Matt Webb, who's chasing David Garside, who's chasing Jack Dam. Great fight there forming in the closing stages of the race, but jumping back up to Carl Benson, the checker flag will fall before he gets there, and he's got himself just under a couple of seconds lead. There is Alice Jameson chasing him hard. 
but Carl Benson can afford just to drive at 99.7% to bring that one home into the lead. The checkered flag is out. And this will be a very well deserved win. And he navigates Murray's quite nicely. And your winner for the second race of round two here at Snetterton is the ranks dropper, the baptizer. It's Carl Benson. Very nicely driven. Alice Jameson in second and sideways over the line. I was going to say, you've, you've stopped a tad short there. Oh my goodness me, because Mr. Gillow tried to do <laughs> tried to do the fancy finish, he stopped short and John Nobbs has stolen the third position. Oh dear, oh dear. That's why you don't showboat. <laughs> Toby Owen, fifth position. Brenda Van Heden brings it home in sixth. Nicely done. Let's have a quick check of the penalties. Well, well nothing major. Oh well, 40 seconds for Jack Dan. So again, that one will be under appeal. I have no doubt. So Nick Bade, uh, so Jay Daniels in seventh place. Great effort there. Nick Bade eighth, Alex Rhodes nine, Miles Dixon tenth, Mark Holmes eleven, Ollie Side twelfth. Look at that pack that he was in. It's a shame we couldn't, uh, or a shame we didn't look at that a little bit more. Then it's Matt Webb, Colin Dunn, David Garside, Adam Davies, Chris Callahan, Jack Dan, who's still falling through the field, Kev Straw, and then <coughs> Sean Morty. I keep having it as Simon Morty. It's not. It's Sean Morty. <laughs> Backwards over the line <laughs> is uh, Simon Adams. Simon Adams? Simon Williams. I Again, I'm so sorry. And now another uh, flashy finish there from Adam Bent. And Gary Cooper. Look at the damage on his car. A very wounded Renault comes over the line. 